Hey guys, how's it going? Quick video on how to get to the Invictus showroom uh, from spawning in at Green Circle in Orison. This is probably the most complicated part of getting there um, than it is flying into the spaceport. So first thing you're going to do is when you're at the menu and you get done making your character, you're going to select Orison on Crusader as your spawn. That will then spawn you into this place called Green Circle. Once you spawn into Green Circle, all you're going to do is just take the elevator down to the lobby and come outside and you'll see where I was just standing. There's going to be a tram system on the back side of the building that you're going to take to get to the spaceport. Um, there's probably a tram that takes you from here to the vision center. Um, but I do believe that there isn't. So the only way is going to be going through the spaceport to get there. So we're going to do that real quick. Um, the spaceport's called the August Dunlow spaceport and I just missed the tram. So, uh, we're, we're going to wait for, we're going to wait for the next one. All right. Welcome back everybody. The shuttle is here. Uh, I believe it's like a 60 second wait. So all we're going to do is just hop on the tram, uh, and head over to the spaceport. Uh, when you get to the spaceport, you're going to be looking for one of the departure um, areas. We'll say Vision Center. The Vision Center is where Invictus is happening. Um, and it's pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory if you just look around, but uh, we'll just go through the process. Uh, as I said, because I kind of struggled with it when I first spawned. When I first spawned in, um, looking for it, uh, it is a little, little difficult to find. I kind of thought there would be just a tram that would take you there from Green Circle. Uh, and like I said, if there is, then I don't know about it, but I'm pretty sure there's not. Um, so you have to go to the space port instead. Uh, so we're just going to enjoy this, uh, this tram ride. Give you guys a nice scenic look of Orison all of its chaotic floating nature it's really cool this this like for a floating floating city like orson is insane it is massive uh, but we're here at the spaceport so you can actually see it if you just saw it there i'm kind of flashed by on the screen for a second that's where we're going to be going actually to that tram right there so we're going to disembark And when we depart, oh, it left. That is fine. Um, so this right here, the vision center, you're, you're literally going to get off that tram, run to your left and show up right here. So we got 30 seconds for the next shuttle to arrive. Um, I will show you guys that in a moment. Uh, this is meant to be a very short video, um, <laughs> but I am going to show you where to go to do the javelin tour um, if you spawn from there. Like I said, if you come in and land at the spaceport, a lot of this is easier to navigate uh, because the javelin tour is to get to javelin tour, it'd be on the same elevator you use to leave your hangar to get to um, the lobby of the spaceport and then down to the shuttle station. So just kind of show this. Uh, you'll take the elevator up, run through here, run past customs, and our amazing security forces. You have ship rentals right there on your right if you want to rent a ship. You have another amazing view of Orson. But, we'll come up here to the hangars. Also, real quick, when the Drake Expo happens, right? Defense Con. You'll do everything that I just showed, but you'll just run straight to um, get to the Defense Con. All right. Now, to get to the Javelin Tour, call an elevator. And it's the top selection. So this will take you to the place where the, you can do the javelin tour and see the javelin. Uh, like I said, 
because I'm repeating myself a lot. If you land in a hangar, these are the elevators you take from your hangar to get to the spaceport. So the Javelin Tour is the top option. This is so much easier to do if you're just flying in. That is if you can find the spaceport. Uh, the Javelin's not here right now, but this is the observation deck for it. So now I will all the way back uh, and show you guys me taking the tram to the vision center uh, so you all can see that. And we get Star Citizen's epic soundtrack while we're doing this, which makes it even better. I am a fan of Orison. If there's any area that I like probably the most, it'd be Art Corp. Uh, because I love the idea of just a planet city. And I think, I believe CIG did mention that there are mountains and other things like that on Art Corp. Uh, they just don't have it in yet. I could be wrong. Uh, but that's not the purpose of this, is to talk about which areas I like. But Orson is a really cool uh, landing zone slash city. And Crusader being a cloud planet is awesome as well for any Star Wars fans. Just think of it as Bespin. And be careful of doors <laughs> with elevators. I feel like I take a risk running through a door like that every single time, but I've not fallen through the map yet. Now to finish this off, the tram's not there, that's fine. Providence, Providence platform is where Green Circle is at. That is where you'd be coming from if you spawn in to Orson. If you fly in, obviously we'll come from where I just came from. We are now going to the Vision Center. The Vision Center is where the event is happening. So we'll hop on the shuttle. It'll depart and take us to the Vision Center. beautiful man this is this is one of the things about this game that I really enjoy about it is you get a view that I don't think you can get in many games and you can create that view wherever you want is anything and everything is accessible as long as you have the ship what you guys are seeing along with this is um, the cloud tech that CIG has in Star Citizen right now. Uh, if there's any questions too, I am currently running this game on a Ryzen 9 5900, 32 gigs of RAM and a 3080, and then of course it's on South State Drive. Here we are. It's a cool way for the tram to like have players show up to the uh, convention, and then there it is, Invictus launch week. And we are here. As of right now, with this video, it is Anvil that is being showcased. So any and all available slash flyable Anvil ships in the game are free to rent. Uh, I believe Aegis is tomorrow. I could be wrong about that. I'm not currently looking at the list as I make this video. Uh, but here we are. Invictus launch week 2952. Shuttle departs here in five seconds. But yeah, the Vision Center. So if this video helped you out, guys, uh, please definitely leave a like. Uh, I do, I'm trying to find a direction for my YouTube channel. 
So I think that direction might just be doing more things focused around Star Citizen. Uh, this is a game I thoroughly do enjoy, even though it has its frustrations. Um, otherwise, you know, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, what your favorite ship is, favorite landing zone. Um, what you think about some of the alien races that are in the Star Citizen universe. Anything and everything. Um, otherwise, catch you all later. And peace.